Jackanory, Jackanory. The Story of Samson, Part 1, A Mysterious Visitor. The people of Israel had been bad. Again, they forgot about God. They forgot about what pleased to him. They didn't want God to rule over them. So God sent the Philistines to rule over them instead. The Philistines made their lives miserable. It wasn't that God didn't love them. They needed to know what life would be like without him. So 40 years went by. And then one day, a woman was out working in the fields. She had her back to the hot sun when someone came up and touched her on the shoulder. Now, maybe it was the bright sunshine or maybe it was something else entirely. But when she looked up, she saw a man so full of light that it frightened her. Don't you be afraid, the man said. I've come with some good news. You're going to have a son. Well, this was big news. The woman had never been able to have children. You mustn't drink any wine or strong drink, the man continued. And when your son is born, he must never cut his hair. He's going to be a Nazarite, a person set apart for God. He's going to save your people from the power of the Philistines. Now, never getting a haircut seemed like an odd thing to command. But her son was going to be dedicated to God. You always give your best to God. And back in those days, the people would choose a sheep from their flocks to offer as a gift to him. It was always the best of the flocks without any spots or anything wrong with it at all. It was as perfect as perfect could be. Maybe by never cutting her son's hair, he would be like one of those lambs, as perfect as the day he was born. Well, anyway, this sort of thing, you know, a mysterious stranger appearing with good news from God, well, that doesn't happen every day. So the woman ran to tell her husband, a man named Manoah. A man came to me today, and I think he was an angel, she said. He didn't tell me his name or where he was from, but he said, we're going to have a son. Then Manoah prayed. Oh, please, God, send this man back to tell us, well, to tell us what to do. The next day, the woman was out in the fields again, sitting in the bright sunshine. She looked up, and there was this man again. And she ran to tell her husband, The man's back! The man's back! Manoah ran into the fields, and there was the man standing there. And he was frightening to see. Are you the man who told my wife we're going to have a son? Manoah asked. I am, said the man. What, 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 what should we do? Manoah asked. You must do just as I told her. Your wife must not drink any wine or strong drink. And when your son is born, you must not touch a hair of his head. And then Manoah said, oh, please, sir, don't go. Let us cook you a young goat for dinner. You may prepare a young goat if you wish, but burn it as an offering to God. What is your name? Manoah asked the man. I can't tell you. That is a name of wonder. So Manoah did as the man said, and he burnt a goat as an offering to God, the God of wonders. And then an amazing thing happened. The man stepped into the fire that was rising up from the altar and went up into heaven in the flames. Manoah and his wife really had been talking to an angel.